Hey guys, JK here in Big Screen. I'm here with Shanks and he's going to be talking to us today about the exciting events coming up in the Big Screen app. So, let's do this. Hello, hello. So, I'm one of the Big Screen developers <laughs> and this is our brand new uh, lobby environment for Big Screen. Uh, this is right outside of our cinemas and on the day of a big big screen event, this is where you can get together with your friends, hang out, uh, decide which one of the movies you want to go and watch. So before we dive too far deep, let's just like recap real quick. Like what is big screen just about to do? Like what's changing here? What's happening? On December 29th, uh, for people in the United States, you're going to get to come into this lobby and you're going to get to go into uh, these cinemas and you'll be able to watch Top Gun in 3D for free. So we've uh, partnered up Amazing. with Paramount Pictures to make that happen. And this is something that we want to do every single week in 2018 with more movie studios, with more Ooh. movies, TV shows, anime, like sports, all sorts of different stuff. The reason why we're doing this is because we think that for social VR events to happen, like we want to get everybody on all at the exact same time, like Friday at 7 p.m., it'll be a showtime. And, you, and we get everybody on at the same cool. time so we can all watch a movie together. We can have uh, a bunch of different showtimes at any given point in time. So on Friday, uh, December 29th, we'll have a dozen showtimes throughout the day, throughout the night. And you and a bunch of your friends can get together, come into our cinemas and watch it for free. You can also, when you get Ooh. into the cinemas, you'll be with hundreds of people um, from around the country watching that movie with you. So it really feels like a movie theater. So Amazing. that's kind of the, the, yeah. quick, the quick context to what we're about to do with Big Screen. Amazing. I like the so, some more... environment here. Yeah, yeah. I really like spending some really time cool. in here. We've got a, yeah, a trailer it's... playing for one of Paramount's upcoming movies, uh, Downsizing. And there are a bunch of these oh, yeah. um, animated movie posters <laughs> around as well. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at the posters. So cool. Yep. It feels like a real cinema. Yeah, my first. Funnily enough, my first ever job <laughs> back in the day yeah. was in a cinema. So no way. I'm feeling right <laughs> at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the popcorn, uh, the popcorn machine over there. Yeah, is, uh, that's what I was popping. thinking. And the sound effect's perfect. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so when you create yeah, one cool. of the, the big screen rooms and you join into this lobby environment, uh, you'll notice that each of these things that says coming soon on the day of the event, you'll actually see like the title of the movie up there, when the movie's going to start, and so on. Oh, uh, if you're okay. in here with a party, so if you and a bunch of your friends are hanging out in here, your party leader, so the admin, the, the person that created the room, can join your whole party into one of the showtimes. So everybody kind of teleports into the same showtime. Everybody will be sitting right next to each other. Um, it's got a lot of the, the like, kind of simplicity and kind of uh, experience that you want in a movie theater. Um, the admin kind of controls all of that and makes it really easy for people to jump into one of the show times. Wow, nice. Some more details. All I'm missing There's... is virtual popcorn. I mean, we've got yeah. the virtual popcorn, <laughs> actually. <laughs> you know, I really want to make those popcorn buckets. Like, I want to be able to grab them, like, dump it all around and, like, throw it around. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> next time. Next time. Then it will be too messy and you'll have to... <laughs> employ people to clean up. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so what films have you got coming up in big screen? I know there's the big opening of mm -hmm. Top Gun. I haven't yep. actually seen that movie, shockingly. Really? I know it's a classic. Ooh, yeah, can't believe it. <laughs> so I've so definitely got to come to that one. <laughs> we, we aren't quite ready yet to, to talk about the rest of our lineup. We're still developing it. Okay. Um, yeah. We're hoping to work with Paramount and a few other movie studios and content owners to build out a bigger lineup of stuff in 2018. Um, but a lot of that depends on really like what you guys think. Like if you love Top Gun okay. and you love watching this and you want to see more of it, like we want that feedback. We want to know like what movies you want to see next. We want to know whether you like 3D movies or you prefer 2D movies. I think one of the big things that we're doing with this is doing Top Gun, not just in 2D, but we're doing it in 3D. And 
Um, oh, it's it's okay. side by side 3D, so it's not like um, 180 degree VR. It's not 360 degree like VR films. This is mm -hmm. like a okay. typical 3D movie in a theater, but we're making it available to you in a VR movie theater. And nice. I think that's really, really cool. Have you watched a uh, 3D movie in big screen before? No, I haven't. In real oh, life, yes, but not in big screen. 2D. <laughs> So yeah, that no was 3D. one of the things that we learned last year in 2016. So Big Screen's now two years, we launched two years ago. The company yeah. is just a few of us, and uh, we've been working on this for just over three years now. Last, about a year That's and amazing. a half ago, two, maybe maybe about two years ago, was when we added um, 3D, side-by-side -side 3D to Big Screen. And when I watched my first movie, I think it was Mad Max, I watched my first 3D movie oh. <laughs> on Big Screen, and it blew me away. Like, for some reason, it just feels so much more comfortable and immersive. And it adds, like, a subtle sense of depth without being, like, gimmicky, without, like, causing headaches. Um, yes. And you don't, like, need additional hardware. So it's really cool. That's So that's one of the big reasons why we're yeah. working with movie studios. Like, we are going to them and asking them for their 3D movie content that they've already made, like, you know, decades ago or, or many years ago. And we're bringing that 3D content and giving it directly to our big screen community so that they can consume it. Because right now you can't like, you can pull up Netflix in big screen and, and watch it with your friends in, in big screen right now today. But Netflix doesn't have 3D movies. And, and that's why we're working with studios to get that in here. Oh, yeah. So you can expect <laughs> a lot more 3D movies in big screen next year. Nice. Okay, cool. So that's something so to look you, forward to. Yeah, I want to tell you a little bit about how these like actual cinemas work. Um, when oh, you go okay. in there, yes. uh, there's a lot of interesting details about how our event cinemas work as opposed to like a normal big screen cinema. So if you've been in big screen before and if you've used our cinema environment before, you know that it's this huge like 110 foot uh, screen and it kind of really feels immersive. The light from the movie like shines on the wall around you. It's really cool. But when you're in an event like a, a sponsored event that Big Screen is hosting with one of the movie studios, things are a little bit more controlled. So th we have built a lot of these like troll protection features and user harassment features so that when you go into one of these event rooms, um, which Big Screen runs, so it's not like a user has to host a room or host a showtime, like we're running all of that through our servers, we're managing the whole thing. So we've built all of these like troll protection features. So one of them is called the troll cage. Um, when you're in a movie theater, <laughs> like, can you imagine how bad and annoying it would be if someone was, like, jumping up around or, like, waving their hands, like, while people are trying to watch? In VR, yeah, that trolls is everywhere. <laughs> too easy to do, right? Like, it's just, like, you yeah, just stand up yeah. and then and then you're going to be annoying people. So we built this thing called a troll cage. So you've got, like, a little cage around you. You can't see the cage, but, but it's there. And, okay. and if you try to... If you try to leave that cage and like if you try to like stand up way too high or or just like move your hand way too far out um it stops rendering it stops displaying so you can't just like stand up and and if you've got steam vr and a room scale vr setup you can't just stand up and walk through people's seats in the movie theater that'd be way too annoying <laughs> so, so you just can't like we don't, yeah. we don't even allow you to mm -hmm. um and i think that's going to be a really kind of interesting addition to some of our existing Troll protection features. Um, you might know about the personal space bubble. So that is what allows yes. us to sit right next to each other. But like, I can't put my hand like in your head or, or kind of like interrupt yeah, and make it uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It feels so uncomfortable when that happens. So the personal space bubble is kind of the opposite of the troll cage where nobody can get inside of your space. The troll cage is, is where you can't get outside of your space. Um, <laughs> yeah. You can't be a and, troll. And <laughs> exactly, exactly. We put a lot of effort into into this because we don't want people to ruin the movie experience, right? Like when, when we're yeah, in there, definitely. we really want to watch Top Gun. We don't want to exactly, distract them with other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's a few other things. There's something called Whisper Mode. Whisper Mode inside Ooh. of these uh, event cinemas. So again, this is stuff that okay. only happens in our event cinemas. So the normal okay. cinema environment, yes. this is not a thing at all, but... Okay, yeah. For, for the environments, for the uh, kind of showtimes and events that we host, that we big screen are hosting, uh, whisper mode is enabled where 
you can only chat with a person that's sitting like right next to you so that Ooh. you can't just like scream or yell or yeah. sing or I like whatever. that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the idea being that like if you and I are in the cinema watching Top Gun together, maybe like we'll be sitting right next to each other and, and we're going to want to chat with each other. But there's really no reason that you should be chatting with someone on the opposite side of the yeah. cinema that's, Five. that's trying to watch the movie. <laughs> Rosa. <laughs> Yep. Some random trolls can't just jump in and start screaming. And nope. <laughs> Definitely not. Because you know Amazing. someone's going to try to do that, but yeah. they won't be able I to. know. Tell me about it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's always the one that people do. Classic troll it move is. for VR. It is. <laughs> So that's the, the quick cool. overview of our new lobby environment, the one sheets, the kind of movie posters that are animated, the trailers, um, and kind of a, a hint at what we're gonna do next year with more movies and films and, and events just like this. That's amazing. So when we come into here in the lobby, we can sit in these different seats then, or? You can, yeah, you can sit right up in front. <laughs> You can have dozens of people in this room, uh, get all your friends in here, and then go into one of the showtimes together. Okay, cool. And how, what's the maximum number of people that can come to a showing? Mm -hmm. So we can support hundreds or thousands, probably tens of thousands per showtime. So for the seven o'clock showtime, we can have tens of thousands of people around the world watching that showtime, but we wow. put them inside individual cinema rooms. So. Let's say you got 20 of your friends, you might get your own okay. cinema room for the 7 p.m. showtime. Uh, if it's just you and me, so two oh, of us nice. going into one of the showtimes, we jump into one of the rooms with yeah. a bunch of other people. Yeah. So That's each, cool. each so you have kind options, of, yeah. Yeah, you have options. So each cinema can support maybe uh, 10, 20, 30 people at any given time. And we fill up the rest of the seats in that cinema with NPCs or AI. So that you feel cool. like you're in a packed cinema oh, where everybody's wow. watching. Yeah. But secretly, there's only like night. 20 people that are <laughs> real. Oh, that's nice. That's yep. better than the real cinema. <laughs> right? <laughs> but at, the, at, the, at that showtime, like thousands of people could be watching like the 7 p.m. showtime of like yeah. a famous yeah. event, like a live event that's happening or a sports thing. Just or something in different like. yep. screens. That's so nice. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. important thing is this is united states only but we'll have international events okay next yes. year um that this okay. will be free and we're gonna have free and like kind of paid showings next year so like some events might be free but some might be uh a subscription or or like buy a movie ticket to come in and watch this is available on all the headsets so all steam vr headsets all windows mixed reality headsets all the, the oculus rift hc5 but we're not yet on Oculus Go or the Gear VR. So our plan is to be on mobile VR okay. headsets next year. Um, in the next first year. So guys, this has been a little sneak peek into what's coming to big screen. Very exciting stuff. You heard it here yourself from Shanks, one of the devs. And if you're in the US, get excited because you will be the first with access to this. Us international folks will have to wait a little longer, but guys, I think it's worth it. I can definitely see myself popping into here and just going to a screening of a movie. 
maybe a film I haven't seen before. Maybe they'll have another premiere of Top Gun because I haven't seen it. <laughs> or some other exciting movie. I'm sure there'll be lots of favorites in here. I'm a big film buff, I don't know about you guys. But yes, do let me know what you think of these revelations <laughs> down in the comments. And have you tried big screen before? Are you new to VR? If you haven't tried it, I recommend it. And that's one of my favorite actors, Matt Damon. Was she playing that? Awesome trailer. I haven't seen that, so. Hope it's good. Yes! <laughs> well, let me know your thoughts and like, comment, share, all of that lovely good stuff. Thank you for watching and I will see you not here because we won't have access to this until the future. We're in the future, guys, as always here in VR. But yes, I will see you on the channel next time. I'm loving these different cameras. I'll just give you a little look at the different Oh yes, nice low camera shot. Bye guys.